Hi everyone, it's Stacy from PeonyLaneDesign.com. Have you subscribed to the channel yet? If not, click the little blue button right there. Don't forget to click the subscribe button, comment down below, like this video, and click the bell icon to be notified. Well, good morning. It is snowing. My husband took our daughter to school today. I'm really happy about that. I was stressed out, like, up to here on it. Um, look at the table. It's only got a little wobble left. Um, underneath here, there were screws holding the top on that were slightly loose. There are screws along the legs, and the sides are all flathead screws. Oh, yes, and they're all rusty. Um, I've tightened them all up now. It only wobbles just a slight little bit. These are... That's from uneven floor, by the way. It's tilting back and forth. Um, not the floor. The feet are uneven. I got to put some pads on it. But these little joints here were really super dry. So I just took a syringe of some water and swelled them to see what would happen. And it tightened it up even a little bit more. I'm going to swell some of the other joints and then probably glue them. Like get a little glue in there and tighten them up a little bit. But this table is way dry way dry it needs it needs some life breathed back into it i love it um i'm probably gonna put a piece on that little shelf bracket that's under here so you can see where my fingers are i'm pulling down on it on both sides there's a little bracket there and i keep thinking well then let's put a little shelf in there it'll be a little cute little entryway piece that you could put a little like put your phones underneath there like charger or something like while they're charging, you could stick your phones under there. And... Nice little entryway table. Place to put your keys. Just set your stuff down. And it's just, it's cute. Or bathroom. Bathroom. Like there's always that spot. You need a little table in the bathroom or something. I don't know. It's got a shelf down here on the bottom. Um, Wasn't what I was planning to work on today. Actually, I don't know what I'm planning to work on today. I'll be honest with you, my husband cut the board for the bottom of the cabinet and now I'm intimidated as heck because it's a, uh, let's see. See, you all see me buy these things and you think I'm never going to use them. Ah. Here we are. I picked these up at Goodwill a long time ago for $1.99. The two inch wood screws, right? So I have the two inch and the inch and three quarters. Well, the two inch comes out about like that much through that thickness of that board that's out there. And, um, I don't think it's enough. I feel like I need like a two and a quarter inch just to make sure. And I could countersink them. I mean, I could, I could drill down just a little bit and then fill it. I'm, I'm having to think through my process on what I'm going to do. So I have these really great chunky, I mean chunky legs out in the garage that came off of an old coffee table that would be so sweet if I could get those on there. To do that, I have to figure out how I'm going to attach that board to the shelf because it's open in the front. And I thought about L brackets, don't worry. The process is going. I guess beyond get the boards cut, my brain really hadn't put it together that I was going to have to come up with a plan. <laughs> What's the plan, Stacy? I don't know. Um, I'm going to put some legs on there. Well, the legs don't have like an attachment. It's not like I bought these legs and there's a bracket you stick on, then you screw the legs on. I could get one of those, but it wouldn't look right. And they would be too flimsy anyway. That is a heavy piece. And it's not getting lighter with the two inch thick board that I'm putting on the bottom so that it doesn't bow. So there's literally no way, like I have to come up with the way to attach this. I have to come up with the plan to attach the legs. I have to come up, I have to figure out what product I need to buy. What, you know, am I just going to put like a 
big old lag bolt in there and just screw the whole thing together. What, what are we doing? Uh, so that's what I thought I'd work on today was like put that thing together. And then when I literally sat down to look at it this morning, so I had an online doctor's appointment and before the appointment, I was looking at that board and looking at the legs and going, huh? Well, now my brain's going, you can't do that. <laughs> I mean, obviously there's going to be some glue, not this glue, but you're going to have to glue it and screw it in order for those legs to stay on there. It's so funny because I have another lady that I know that does this. She was talking about how her husband does all this part. And I'm like, I don't got a husband. I got a husband, but he don't do this part for me. Like. I have, I'm the one. Um, I was writing a blog post about being the one. About being the, the person that is the only one that, to make the decisions, to make mistakes. And if I screw this up, it's on me, right? So that's a hard place for a lot of people to be in. And that's why they have their husband's help or their dad help or, you know, it's like, yeah, maybe I should call the OG. <laughs> gonna lie there's a moment where you're like it's like a second opinion wouldn't be a bad idea because this is something that i'm planning to stick a price tag on i mean with this i know i know i can swell the joints i can glue it i can screw it i can tighten it up put the shelf on i got this one got this with that one it's literally inventing the process even the OG is going to be like, uh, cause I bring him projects. I've bought, I have in the past brought projects to him like this, where I'm like, I, this is what I want to do. You know what I'm thinking right the second, like my brain just went, wait a second. I need to grab those legs because even though the coffee table was jointed at the sides of the legs was it screwed to the top like I don't think there was but I think on the inside of the leg let me get the leg let's just get a leg I don't think I need to explain it to you with words let's just show you bam bam here it is chunky leg like this is gonna hold up pretty good but this is how they had it attached. So no, I thought maybe if there was like a little lip here, I could screw up through that, but it's not, no. So I would have to screw down through that. There's four of them. I gotta deal with this situation. There was a shelf underneath there. Um, I'm not sure if I'll fill it or put a shelf under it. I don't know, we'll figure it out. That is a future call. Right now, I need to figure out how to attach this. So like, to a really thick board. This is not the board. This is not the board. This is the top of that cabinet. I still have to cut the top of the cabinet. But that's the leg I'm gonna put on it. Raise it up. I think it'll look good. Do you remember this coffee table? I picked this up from my recycling center. Somebody threw this away. So I grabbed the coffee table. The top was all broken up, but the legs were good. <laughs> and I knew I'd find something to put the legs on. So I've got four of these and I think it's going to look great. I mean, I can't believe somebody. No one else snatched these up. Whatever the solution is, I don't have it right now. I'm going to do some Googling in a minute. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to Google some stuff. I'll be back. Remember how I said when I make mistakes, it's mine and I have to own it and nobody else gets to make it and all that. And yeah, you remember because it was like two seconds ago for you. Um, the legs aren't going to work. Here's the board. That I'm going to attach them to. The thickness of the board is no longer an issue. 
the fact that the leg takes up uh, three quarters of the size of the board does. I can't get two of them on here without it looking bizarre. <laughs> I don't have legs. I am way irritated with myself. Um, uh, 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 uh. I've been hanging up here forever. It wouldn't look right. Got more Googling to do. Damn it. Order new legs of beer tomorrow. I don't even care. I don't even care. I'm so frustrated at this point. I'm extremely frustrated with myself for not having thought that through um, and checked the leg situation. So I ordered um, something different. I'm not going to tell you about it. I guess we'll look at it tomorrow. Anyway, it needs to be sanded. It's checked pretty bad, didn't it? Now I feel like I should probably fill this. Um... I have an epoxy. Give me a chance to try JB Weld. <laughs> Not sponsored. Wood Restore. So I picked this up. It's a repair putty. It's meant to fill large cracks and stuff like this. And I picked it up when I was working on the deck or the porch up front this summer because I thought I want to have it for if I needed it. And here I am. Here we are. And here we are. How do you open this bloody thing? I hate these containers. Worse than a paint can. Ooh. It's probably a hazard. Don't stick your nose in it. What were you thinking, Stacey? <laughs> Okay, so there's this, and it's flammable, and it's what? What is this? B BPO paste. I'm going to put some gloves on. Always keep a box of surgical gloves on hand for working on projects where you may need to glove up. Okay, so what do I do? Where's the distractions? This is all warning. This is all features. And this is putty and hardener. How do I use it? Wait, 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 wait. There it is under the features. Surface prep, clean surface, degrease, remove paint and primer. Place a golf ball size amount of wood filler into the mixing board, onto a mixing board. Across the diameter of the putty, squeeze out a line of hardener. Mix thoroughly with putty. Application. Okay. Half inch of this. And then uh, a line of this. Of JV Weld products. Um, I use them a lot. This is not a sponsored video. I don't want people to be like, she's sponsored by JV Weld. I wish. Call me. Um, I'd love a sponsorship from JB Weld. I'd love one from like paint companies too. Because I spend an awful lot of money on paint and, and products. But you guys have seen me use the two part putty from JB Weld that I absolutely love as wood filler. I'm just going to clean off a surface here. I could tell you this is probably not something I'm going to want to use a lot based on the smell. It tanks. And I haven't even opened it. This is our putty. Looks like that. Yeah, that's strong. Oof. Half inch, huh? Of putty. Let's get the lid back on that can like too sweet. 
Wrist. I do not recommend this if you have any kind of lung problems. Absolutely wear a respirator. I'm being really stupid right now. All right. I'm going to go fill that hole, that crack. Okay, so I filled that really long crack. I am going to leave the room while this does its thing. It is definitely not something you want to sit around breathing. Um, I, I might actually... I don't think I can set it outside. I think I have to leave it in here. But I did fill the knot holes as well since I had a little excess. But that has filled that crack really nice. And um, when it's dry, we'll come back and sand it all down so that we're ready for the legs tomorrow. This is a sign on my office door. So while I wait for that to dry and dissipate the smell, I'm going to go ahead and pack my Etsy shipment. Um, I sold the mustard pot. Remember? Let's show you. In the OG's room. Remember this from the thrift store I picked up and it was $5 and I'm an, I don't even know anything about it. I just went, yeah, it's cool and I'm going to grab it and guess what it sold. So I'm going to pack this up and get this shipped out. And uh, I think that's all we're going to do today. I'm going to wait for that. I'll probably sand it. You don't need to see me sand it. You've seen me sand things a million times. But hopefully then it'll be prepped and ready for um, the legs when they show up tomorrow. I'm going to have to do a little work to get the legs ready to go. I kind of bought some sofa legs that I thought would work. Um, they better work. <laughs> they do a free return. Well, while we're in here, you can see all the snow outside. Yeah, more snow. More snow. And isn't that lovely? I'll have to go pick Victoria up after school. But uh, let me get this packed up and out the door. Got some boxes in here that'll work, and I'm kind of excited to see this one on its way. So thanks for watching, you guys. Happy junkin'. Bye. Visit my blog, peonylanedesigns.com, for more tips, tricks, and inspiration. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon so you'll be notified of new videos. I post every week DIY tutorials and, of course, more Junkin' videos.